Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Python program that create a class called numbers which has a single class attribute called multiplier and a constructor that takes two parameters x and y and these should all be numbers. Create a class, we use the keyword class followed by the class name. The class name is numbers followed by a colon symbol. We are using a class member. Class members are written directly inside the class which can be accessed by using the class name. So the name of the class member is multiplier which is initialized with the value as 2. We have written the constructor. The name of the constructor is underscore init. It takes two arguments x and y. The value of x and y will get stored into the instance data members self.x and self.y. After that we have to include a method named add that returns the sum of x and y. So to include a method we write the method name as add. So to make it the method we have to use a self as a parameter. So the add method will return the sum of the instance data members x and y. So return self.x plus self.y. Second, we have to write a class method called multiply that takes a single parameter and returns the parameter into the multiplier value. To include the class method, we use the annotation at rate followed by class method. The name of the class method we are defining is multiply. So every class method in Python, the first parameter is the class reference which is taken by using the keyword CLS and the second here we are using a parameter which is A which is used to pass the value. The multiply should return the multiplication of the value A and the value of multiplier. Now the multiplier is a class member that can be accessed by using the CLS keyword. CLS can be used to access all the class members. In the third, we have to include a static method subtract that can be used to perform the subtraction of two numbers B and C. To include the static method also we use the annotation at rate followed by static method. The name of the method is subtract. Now the static method does not take either self or CLS parameter can only takes any other parameters which is required so it cannot access any instance details nor the class details so here we are simply returning the value of b minus c in the fourth we have to include a property that can be used to change the value of x and y now to change the property we can use the setter method and to, if you want to deallocate the memory of the data members we can use the deleter for the properties. In Python, the property can be created by using annotation at rate followed by property. Now the name of the property here we are using is value and all the properties should take the self as a parameter. Now in this property, we are returning the value of instance data members as a tuple. So self.x and self.y will be returned from the property as a tuple. Now if you access the value property, we will get both the x and y value of the instance data members. Now associated with the property, we can use the setter and deleter. The setter can be used to change the values of the properties. Now the setter can be defined as with the same name annotation name of the function should use the same that is value followed by dot symbol and the setter keyword and the function name should be the same in the setter method we are also passing a tuple value t we are assuming t consists of two values x and y which will get initialized into the instance data members self.x and self.y
to define the deleter we have to again use a trait followed by property name which is value followed by dot and deleter the name of the deleter also should be the same as the property which is value in the deleter we are using self parameter no other values are passed into the deleter deleter is used to deallocate the instance data members we have two instance data members for our object which is x and y which is deallocated by using a none keyword Outside the class, we created an object for the class which is named as numbers by passing two arguments 1 and 2 values. So those values will go to the constructor and it will get initialized into the instance data members x and y. Now to display the value of x and y, we are accessing the property. The property can be accessed by using the object name. So we have written obj1.value obj1 dot value will return both the x and y value which is 1 and 2 of the object 1 and we found the sum by using add method the add method will find the sum of x and y and it will be returned now to change the value of the property we can directly assign the property equal to the value the value should be kept inside the tuple because we are passing only single parameters into the property. The property generally takes a, a single value that can be kept as a tuple if multiple values are present. So the value 3 and 4 will get initialized into object 1's x and y and new sum will be displayed. If you are using del object 1 dot value, we are deleting the property. So the value of x and y which is associated with object 1 will be removed as it will become none. So if you print the value it will show is as none values. The class method can be called by using the class name. So our class name is numbers. So the class method multiply has been called. Multiply takes a single parameter. That parameter has been passed. So it will 4 will get multiplied with the instance data members. The instance data members is initialized as 2. Call similarly static method. Static method can also be called by using the class name. Our class name is numbers. So we call numbers dot subtract of 2 comma 4 where subtract is our static method. The class name is numbers so during the execution of the program we can see the object has been created in the first case and after that we have changed by using the property the value of x and y has been changed by accessing the property so see in this program we have created a class named numbers multiplier is a class member in it is the constructor which is used to initialize the instance data members x and y. Add is a method which is returning the sum of x and y. The class method generally takes the first parameter as the CLS. 
that can be used to access class details, not the instance details. The static method cannot access the instance details, not even it can create a new instance. Whereas the class method can create a new instance because it has the class reference as CLS. Properties are generally used to change or access the value of public properties within the class. So here we are using the value property that can be used to return the value of X and Y which are the instance data members of the class numbers. To change the value of X and Y, we use the setter for the property that is value.setter. To remove the value of the X and Y, we use the property deleter that is value.deleter. So here value is our property that can be used to change the value of X and Y instance data members. So first we have created an object with initialized value. In the next block, we have changed the x and y value by using the property. So object one dot value, we are accessing the property. After that, we have deleted the property. So the x and y value will become none. class and static method has been called by using the class name which is numbers. Thank you for watching this video.